know you want me Every day not only when you're lonely yeah, yeah. You see you think you know me But you don't even know nothing about me yeah, yeah. I see my thick thighs Lost when you look into my brown eyes You see my lips always commit you switch sides You never know the devil in a disguise So why don't you stand up, baby? Hey guys, Queen of Hearts here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. We're going to have some girl chat. Um, not too sure that on the topics, but we will just be talking. If you hear some noise in the background, my sister's in the shower. I'm being loud. She talks so loud. I have a little sister, if you guys didn't know. Uh, we're a year apart, I think. Yeah. So, um, today is Saturday. It is 3... 30 I have an hour to get dressed and do everything I need to do to be ready by 4 30 so I guess I'll start off with telling you guys the plans I have two mirrors right here by the way so if you don't see me looking at the camera um I guess I'll start off by telling you guys about today I have a broken nail don't mind it but um yeah, so Megan and I are going to um, a pop-up shop, I guess that's what you can call it. My hair uh, stylist is hosting um, a pop-up shop of this um, clothing line that she promotes for. So we're going to go there. Um, and the clothing store is black owned, so I'm super excited to go there. There's going to be um food music i'm just ready to go there to you know support a black owned business and of course y'all know i like getting fine so yeah that's on the agenda for today anything after that i'm not sure i'm sure we'll probably go get some some real you know sit down food and um yeah, enjoy this beautiful Saturday. It feels so good outside. I'm so happy it's summer. Um, finally. And it's not like hot, hot yet. So, you know that that time in between, you know, from it being uh, spring and summer where, you know, it's still a little cooler. And it's not as hot. Yeah, I like that time of the year. So, I'm not too sure what I'm wearing. I have a couple options, actually. I think I'm a... I think I may put on, like, this white dress. <sighs> but I'm not sure. So, what do you guys want to talk about? Um, let me do my eyebrows first. And then we can get into some topics. I was just using a black... NK um it's a roll up liner I actually think it's an eyeliner but I use it for my eyebrows so yes uh y'all my sister is so loud different but I had to um I had to record a, a reel I keep forgetting about um reels okay and that also brings me to okay what I need to do next it also brings me to um kind of what I wanted to touch on today um how I grew my Instagram following so if you're not following me on Instagram make sure that you do so go ahead and pause this video and go follow me on Instagram I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the screen but it is Queen of Hearts at Queen of Hearts 
at, I'm sorry, underscore Queen of Hearts. So make sure you guys follow me there because that's where it goes down. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's not what I wanted to say. I wanted to tell y'all about, um, I think I'm gonna do this first. I haven't put on liquid foundation in so long. I'm about to use this um, Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade 355. The last time I used this, it was a bit light, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna see. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on today. But yeah, when I, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is how I grew my Instagram following. I get a lot of questions about what I do. And um, I decided to share with you guys what I did to grow my Instagram following because I feel like being an influencer, I think I'm considered a micro influencer. I think that's for people with like five to 10,000 followers. But anyways, I wanted to grow my following on Instagram for, um, for brands to take me seriously and know that I'm serious about being an influence um, and yeah, influence and influencer. So that's the main reason I wanted to grow my following. But um, I'll just share with you guys a couple tips. Um, number one, be consistent in your posting. And I'm not just talking about um, feed posts, I am talking about story posts. So, um, I'm on Instagram all the time. It's like my number one social media platform. Um, and it's where I've gotten a lot of you guys from <laughs> who watch my YouTube channel from Instagram. So, um, I post on my stories a lot, although like, cause every day, I'm be honest, throughout the week, I don't, I don't wear makeup, I don't get dressed up, it's just work, so I'm just, you know, I ain't really doing much, but on the weekends is where I really have the time to create and, you know, get dressed up, be cute, hang out with friends, things like that. So, I post a lot on my stories. Um, the number one tip is, to, um, as far as your stories goes, to post like polls. Um, I posted a poll this week, if you don't know what a poll is on Instagram, but I posted a poll this week and I was just like, um, do you tip for to-go orders because I was at this restaurant on my lunch break and I really wanted to know if people tip their their waitresses or their waiter for to-go orders. I usually don't, um, but I put the poll on Instagram and it looks like other people don't either. <laughs> it looks like a lot of other people don't. Um, whew, I'm itching. Don't tip their waiters. But that's, that's just an example of things that you can um, do to grow your following you can um hashtag i think i put too much of this on you can do um hashtag in your story post um those are going to automatically up your views on your stories um if you're talking about a particular subject on instagram so hashtagging polls questions um questions about anything actually whether it pertains to you or your niche um, of influence, so questions, um, polls, posting stories, and I post on Instagram for enjoyment too. Um, I, I think that's actually probably 90%, 95% of why I post on my stories is for enjoyment, not necessarily to catch the attention of brands because I do focus on that within my um, actual posting on my feed. But um, if you want to increase your following and engagement um, on Instagram, I would definitely suggest asking your followers questions. 
Like you can't say you want a following and don't engage with your audience. It's important to know what your audience, um, to get feedback and to know what your audience like. So, dang, I feel like I kind of miss putting on liquid foundation. And I forgot to wet my beauty blender, so this is a dry beauty blender. I know I'm probably running out of time. Yeah, it's 4.04. I'm not gonna be ready by 4.30. And I know she gonna call me soon. But anyway, so yeah, um, I saw something, a real statement on Instagram and they were like, let me see. No, I think. There we go. That, that light was too bright. Um, but yeah, I saw a post on Instagram and it was like, if you want to grow your following um, or increase your engagement on Instagram, you cannot post and ghost. Like when people comment on your Instagram post, don't just leave it there. And I'm bad at that because once I post, I'm off of it um, for a little bit and then I'll come back in like a day or two and like say thank you or not on purpose, it's just I don't be having time to at the moment. Not on purpose, but um, it's important that you engage with your audience at that time because that's gaining more traction on your page and then a lot more people are gonna see it from like the Explore page and it's just gonna show up on people's time timelines uh, once you engage and comment back to your audience. Um, even if it's just a like of a comment um, along with commenting back to them, that also increases your engagement um, on Instagram and your following. And then people like to know that you, you know, are going to talk back to them or say thank you, especially when they've complimented you. So <laughs> you want to make sure that you're not posting and ghosting and that you actually entertain and um, comment back to your target audience. The people who are commenting on your things are gonna be your, are clearly your supporters um, because they wouldn't have taken the time out to comment if they weren't. So, y'all, I like my makeup. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm using this Laura Mercier um, translucent powder to set. So, I think next is lashes. Y'all look at this. I have to sort out these lashes. This doesn't make no sense. And I think my glue is in my purse. But yeah, so um, tips on growing your following. We have polls, we have questions, we have consistent um, posts, whether it be stories or your feed. Um, another thing is hashtags when um, you post, make sure that your hashtags are related to, um, are related to what you're posting about. Um, because you have to be trying to find like a hairstylist in your area and people that ain't even, you click on something and it ain't even about no hairstyle or they ain't even in the area. Yeah, that's why you wanna, um, Make sure you post your post is related to what you're posting about, and then that attracts brands to want to work with you. Um, y'all, look at this. This don't make no sense at all. Now, I'm having a hard time trying to match them up. Oh my god, okay. I want to do. Give me a second, y'all. All right, so I'm actually gonna finish my face before I put on, actually, let me put the glue on here first. And then let it, let that dry. And then I can finish my face. But I got these 99 cent lashes from the hair store here in Charlotte. It is, I don't know what color, I mean, what um, style it is, but they have these lashes in like a white pack. If you live in Charlotte, just go to the lash aisle 
and they are 99 cent and they are reusable i probably get four to five wears out of them before i um <gasps> i just clean this thing off before i um have to use another pair so i'm gonna take this ColourPop um, palette here and it is in double entendre and I'm just gonna take this um, actually I'm gonna contour with this brown here and then I'm gonna use this color as my brush and um, and an eyeshadow in my crease here this is one of my go-to looks is like a beat a simple beat and it always comes out really good. Hashtags. Make sure your hashtags are related to um, whatever your your post is about. You don't want to confuse people. People follow you for a reason. Don't be wilding. <laughs> don't be wilding. So, um, contour. I'm gonna take this brush here. I think I need to tell Megan five o'clock. I think I'm gonna straighten my hair today. I went out, well, yeah, me, Megan, and Marcus, her fiance, went out um, last night to this bar and lounge called Firehouse. And we were outside and my hair just I literally got my hair done last Thursday but my hair just poofed up it was it looked so good yesterday before that but yeah um let me do this before my lashes dry Zoom in a little bit. Okay, I forgot to contour my nose. So we're gonna do that. I hate rushing because I always forget to do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I be missing like eyeliner, mascara. Speaking of that, let me get a little bit more of that so I can define. Let's add on the lashes. Come on, don't act up now. Hey, yeah, my camera is dying. Go figure, right? But I just wanted to come on here and um, I'm gonna try to charge it up before or while I'm doing my hair and I'll come back on here once my hair is done. But those are my tips for um, growing your Instagram. My mustache, gotta go. <laughs> I'm just not seeing that. But those are my tips for growing your Instagram. Um, I hope it helps you guys. Um, those are the things that I've done to reach 10k. I just reached 10k Was it May? Like the end of May, I believe um, And I plan to keep you know growing so I can work with some big brands and um, I can't concentrate y'all yeah, I'm just going to come back on here when I finish. I'm going to charge my camera. And um, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I just tried charging my camera for a little bit. So let's see how long it lasts. I also need to vlog today. So I needed to sit it on here a little bit longer. But I'm just flat ironing my hair. 
I blow dried it a little to try to take away the frizz that was there, but I don't know if that worked. So I'm trying to hurry up because it is 4.50. It's 4.50. But it looks like I've already showered and you know, I know what I'm wearing now. I am gonna put on that white dress. So there is this, um, my ends look so good. There is this, um, I don't know how long it's been there, but this tasting room here in Charlotte that I wanna go to. Um, I looked on their Instagram and on their website and they have some pretty drinks. So I'm excited. I'm excited to go there and try it. Uh, hopefully we don't need reservations because I did not make any. And y'all, I normally don't put heat on my hair, but because, okay, maybe I should rephrase that. I put heat on my hair, but I don't do it a lot when I'm, um, Especially not this much, but I have a funeral to go to tomorrow and I want to wear my hair straight. So that's the only reason I'm just going over my hair again because usually I would have just put it in a ponytail. Honestly, truly. So I'm just going through this really quickly. I'm trying to see if that was actually all the my I ran out of storage or memory on my um on my disc but yeah I was trying to see if that was all the tips I had to tell you guys in regards to Instagram um oh when you comment on on like popular pages like spiritual world or um or the shade room what's another page I think the neighborhood talk when you comment on pages like that um, that increases your following too. For what reason? I don't know. Maybe because I'm funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I noticed that increases your following. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing shout out for shout out. Uh. It ain't that, I mean, it's deep because I'm trying to work with some bigger brands, but, you know, we're not doing all that over here. So, I hope those tips help you guys. I'm not sure, you know, if that's something that you're interested in, but if so, I hope that those tips were helpful and that you begin seeing some traction and some growth on your Instagram page from those tips. I am back. This is the best my hair gonna be because I'm not putting no more heat in it, but yeah, I I guess I'll show you guys. I'll take a picture today and put it in this video. <laughs> How about it? Um okay, I lied. Hold on. Cause it's getting on my nerves. Alright, cool. Here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you plan to use the Instagram growth tips that I mentioned here in this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one. Bye guys.